Hey guys, what's going on? This is Silver Seeker, and we're coming at you with a new video. Um, welcome back. Um, I hope you guys are here as subscribers. But hey, we are bringing you uh, this informational video about the difference between different types of silver. So um, I have three different bars here, and I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to go over all three of them. So this one is an RMC um, one ounce fine um, silver buffalo. It has a little bit of crappy tarnishing to it, but. You know, it's a it's a silver buffalo. Let's see if we can focus in. So there you go. One ounce, one troy ounce, nine and nine fine silver. Um, and then there's the RMC mark there at the bottom. You know, it's made to look like a buffalo nickel. Again, there's some tarnish to it. It got some stuff on it. But um, um, I know this one's real. It came from a reputable coin dealer, which I absolutely recommend you buy your silver from, unless you know what you're doing. Um, this bar here is an Oxford. Uh, silver bar uh, has you know different states listed on it: Florida, New York, uh, Arizona, and Alaska. That uh, says one troy ounce, nine 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 fine silver. Now, in the reverse of this bar, as you can see, there is nothing. It's just blank. Nothing on the edges, just on the front. So this one I would call questionable, um, just because it's not you know you don't actually know who minted it. Um, and there's you know there's no mint mark or maker mark on it or anything. And the other reason I call this one questionable is because I picked it up at a flea market. I actually bought it um, this last weekend, so my intent was to buy it to do this video with. And then this one I picked up at a flea market about a month ago, and um, this is a German silver uh, silver bar. So it says one German silver bullion, uh, one troy ounce on the front. You can see. And then on the back, you know, it says 0.999 fine German silver. So this bar is not actually being deceptive at all. The bar's not lying to you and telling you that it's real silver. Um, it's just that some people might not realize that German silver is not actually silver from Germany. It's actually a different um, element or a different mixture of metals. It's basically um, copper, nickel, and zinc. I think it's like mostly copper, like 60% copper, 70% copper, something like that. And then it's mixed with nickel and zinc and it gives it a silvery color, which is why it's called German silver, but it's not actually silver. Um, so you got to be careful with stuff like this. Now I brought a couple of things in today. What we're going to do is we're going to test and show you the difference. Um, and we have our, uh, as you can see over here, it's actually, so that's my 93S um, Morgan Silver Dollar, but I'll show you that in another video. Um, but we'll bring our scope over, because we brought our scope out today. Kind of so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so, um, and we got our test kit and we got our scale. So, same as last time, we'll weigh these, make sure that they weigh correctly. Um, let's see, alright, take it out of the glare, turn her on. Then I'm manually focusing here because my camera is being art hearted. Okay, so, um, we'll actually turn this to ounces Troy. Let's see if I can see that. Um, There we go. So it's actually on ounces Troy, but if we wanted to weigh it on grams, we could. Um, one ounce Troy is 31.11 grams. So um, let's tear it out. Now let's go with the RMC Buffalo. We know this one's real. I got it from an actual coin dealer who deals in bullion. Uh, bought it directly from his store. And you know, all his stuff is guaranteed. And it's coming up 1.01, which is typical. They usually very slightly. Okay, tear the scale again. Now this is our Oxford um, one ounce silver bar. Put that on the scale here. And this one's actually coming up a little bit heavy. 1.04, 1.05 is not your typical variance. Um, so that's semi-suspect, but because it's probably an older bar, it could be just from that. So we're at 1.04. And then we have our German silver bar, which we already talked about, we'll put that on the scale here. It's coming up 1.12, so it's not—it's actually heavier than a troy ounce. But you can see our actual closest we got was 1.01 troy ounces with this buffalo round. Um, and like I said, we know this one's real, but we're actually going to scrape it today just for science. Okay, so in my test kit here, we have a very heavily used. This is a jeweler's stone. Okay, I'm gonna 
focus in on it. You can see it on the scope there. All right, and we'll go ahead and switch over to the scope. Okay, so camera's a little angled incorrectly. Let's see, let's straighten this out. That's fine, it's not a big deal. Okay, so what we need to do, so with this, how this works is there's different acids. These are actually gold test acids, so um, just to show you, um, this is a testing solution for 18 karat gold, okay? Um, but it's a mixture of um, different acids, and it actually tells you on the jar, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a mixture of nitric and muriatic acid. Um, that's 18 karat, and we have 14 karat, 10 karat, um, different test kits. And if you guys don't know how to test gold, I can do that in another video, just ask in the comments. Um, but there's other videos on YouTube that show you how to do gold, and I'm sure there are for silver. But that's not why we're here. We're here to do it ourselves. So we're going to take um, and scratch up our real silver round for, for science. We're going to scrape onto the stone a line. I'm doing a heavy scrape because I want a very good image. You can see under the scope over there, um, you know, the, the scrape that I took. And then, so that's our first line. We'll keep them in order. For our second line, we're going to scrape the German silver. So, boy, I hope the German silver comes off the stone. I already need a new one. This, I've had this same gold test kit for, gosh, 10 years. Um, and then finally our Oxford silver bar. And I hope this thing isn't worth something as a collectible, but whatever. I bought it and we're going to test it. So you guys are probably going to rail me for scraping the, the actual silver, but it doesn't really lose much weight. We'll actually show you. So there's our three different scrapes and they're in order, the same order as these, as these rounds um, and bars. So just to show you, it actually doesn't even affect the weight very much. We're going to leave this on grams. Well, no, we should move it to ounces, Troy, just because. Make sure it's OGT. Yeah, just because that's what we weighted on originally. So, <laughs> so it did come up 1.0 now. So that little bit that was putting it over the edge, apparently, I sliced that off. All right, it's still 1.12, I think that's what it was. And this one was 1.04, I think. Uh, 1.05, okay. So it really didn't matter that much. So we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the scope. And under the scope right now is the first uh, scrape, which is the one that we, let's see if I can turn some light on here. Yeah, there we go. So this is the one that we know is real. Um, and what we do is we take the 18 karat muriatic and nitric acid mixture. And I got gloves on, because you don't want this to get on your fingers. God, it keeps making bubbles. I'm gonna put it on the silver. Now watch what happens. As you can see, the silver is turning a bright powder blue. So that is how we know that we have real silver, and it's eventually gonna go white. Okay, now move over to the second one, this is our German silver. So we're gonna see the difference in what this acid does to the German silver versus what it did to the actual silver. So you can see there, no actual silver is in it and it, all it's done is eaten away at the metal. Okay, and now this is the one that we're not sure on. I'm testing it for the first time on camera. and it looks like we have a winner. So we do actually have a real um, silver bar there. Um, now this test um, is incapable of telling you if it's exactly 999 or if it's like 98 or 97, but what it does tell you is that there's actual silver. Uh, now you could go a little bit deeper and um, let's switch back here. You could go a little bit deeper and actually scrape into the bar. Um, scrape into the bar and make sure you get past any plating, but I don't think that's the case. I mean, pretty sure this is probably fine. Um, and we just tested it the outside and it definitely tested the exact same way is our real silver coin. Um, 
the only one that um, you know obviously didn't pass the test was the German silver so don't be fooled that's the point of this video is don't be fooled um, by German silver because it's not actually silver so wanted to show that to you guys thank you a ton for joining us um, silver seeker um, if you could do me a favor and hit subscribe I'd appreciate that and uh, we'll bring you more videos like this in the future hopefully informative and if there's anything you want to see um, I have a huge collection of rare and collectible coins um, I actually showed you guys this was a 93s that I was looking at under my microscope that's graded and certified by NGC so that's like one of the key dates of the um, Morgan Silver Dollar series. So I have a lot of stuff. If you want to see anything um, or ask if I have anything to show you or if you have any questions um, or any video ideas, let me know. But any, otherwise, hit subscribe and I'll keep bringing videos to you guys as much as I can. And we will talk to you guys in the next video.